Welcome back to another Primal Pursuit mission. In this adventure, I head out solo, scouting some epic, epic New Zealand coastline. Camping, spearfishing, diving, catch and cook over three days. I encounter some incredible scenes underwater. Plenty of fish life, different species, vast schools of fish, clean blue water. Just an epic trip amazing sights, plenty of time to unwind, lots of awesome memories made, definitely a trip to remember, and this video you guys are going to love, so stick around and catch the action. G'day everyone, Ollie here, welcome back to another Prom Opposite Mission. Here on the full meter, we're out on another, another mission, I'm going camping on the boat, potentially on the beach, I'm going to be out for two nights, three days, solo. Yep, we all get up, got heaps of equipment, heaps of condiments, not food. So we're going to be catching our own food, spare guns, heaps of gas. Been a bit of a stuff around this morning. Left the tote tank, fuel lit off at the gas pump. So finally got to the destination here and um, had no gas left in there. So I had to go and top up again. Forgot my cooking pan, but luckily the lovely ladies at the little shop here given me a brand new pot to use. I was thinking it was going to be raw fish and muesli bars for a couple of days and coffee but uh, she saved the day so into it. Got a bit of wind so we're going to have to hug the coastline. I'm going to cruise around, find a nice spot for a midday early afternoon dive, catch some food for dinner and uh, have a cook up, set the tent up, set the boat up and uh, yeah a couple of days on the water it's going to be awesome. Love it. Let's go. Uncharted territory, haven't dove along here before, further as I've come, so I've got a rock here that's just coming out of deep water. Um, looks good. Water's reasonably clean, so we'll jump in and see what we can uh, find. I dive down onto this rocky outcrop, surrounded by deeper water nearby. It's going to be a fish magnet, attracting fish. As there's structure, there's kelp beds, places to hide, places to live, food. I'm creeping around, just peeking over every ledge. There's little gutters running off into deep water. All sorts of terrain for fish to hide and places for me to hide while I hunt. Big school of kahawai come swimming in here. Good sign. I'm not too eager to take one yet. I'm hoping there might be a kingfish nearby hunting. A big school of koheru here. A favourite fish of yellowtail kingfish. I'm quite optimistic I might see a kingfish. A rare sight in winter in most parts. I hang around these big schools, rattling my gun, making noise, trying to attract a bigger predator. No luck, I return to the boat. Time to move to another spot. Right, no luck at that first spot. Moved along the coast. Got a good feeling about this stretch of rocky coastline, so jumping in. Let's go get something for dinner. Shouldn't be too hard. Try not to jinx myself, but <laughs> shouldn't be too hard. 
a different stretch of coastline, a different reef, but the same tactics, creeping along quietly, peering into gutters like this, looking for a snapper, peeking under ledges, looking for crayfish, just a red mocky there, a big school of piroa here in the shallows, otherwise known as black snapper, blue mau mau in the mix, a few other reef species, nothing a target that I want to take yet. Nice and fishy, a school of kahawai come in again and I take a shot and miss. I continue just swimming along these reefs, quietly, trying to be stealth, still hunting for snapper, still hunting for crayfish. No luck yet, but very fishy scenes, quite a healthy looking reef. Creeping over some kelp beds here. A large school of blue marmal joins. Not quite big enough for me. I want something a bit bigger. So, I just stay patient. I find one of these strange sea creatures again. You would have seen one of these in my last episode. Pyrosome, I believe, something like that. Huge schools of blue marmal. Make my way down and just sit here in the kelp bed using it as cover using the school of fish as a blanket hiding from some other fish hopefully that will come in like this pigfish out in the distance I wait for my opportunity stretch out about to pull the trigger and the fish is too smart for me but plenty of other fish around some nice butterfish here I line this nice size fish up and get a beautiful shot stoning the fish and I have some dinner one of my favorites the humble butterfish beautiful eating quick reload of the spear gun I'm gonna see what else I can take home with me take back to the boat I spot a large poor eye down below here not for me, but there's a big scorpion fish here, being camouflaged, just sitting on the bottom. Give it a stab with the gun, it almost comes off the spear, so again, I drive it into this rock here. I don't want to lose that fish and have an injured fish swimming around. Also, very tasty, so I secure the fish and make my way to the surface. Stoked. Well, well, finally got him some fish. It was um, very slow, as it can be in winter. Cold and still, not much going on. A couple of fishy little spots, and then uh, finally a little fishy area here, just next to the sand. And I was actually trying to get this pigfish, but it was being a bit cunning, so took this butterfish instead. Um, love butterfish, very good eating. If you're um, not from New Zealand or new to diving, these are very rarely caught by rod fishermen, um, vegetarian fish, eating the kelp and whatnot. So yeah, they have nice, soft, flaky white flesh, just excellent eating in my opinion. So that's a win. And then this guy just saw, saw him swimming across the bottom. And I'll never say no to a scorpion fish. I think they're amazing eating, just quite different from anything else. Very thick, firm, weird texture, good flavor. I just, yeah, I think they're, Overall, a great eating fish, and um, yeah, funny looking buggers, aren't they? And um, yeah, so scorpion fish to add, butterfish. We've got dinner sorted, well and truly. Lunch, dinner, breakfast, it's quite a bit of fish there. So, I think the plan will be to um, cruise around the coast and just get a bit more protection from this wind, tuck into a little cove or find a beach, and uh set up camp I might go for one little dive it's all new around here so I'm um, quite excited just exploring and, and seeing what the terrain is around here 
Um, I just love new new spots and exploring, so we'll do that. And then it's, yeah, camp, set up, cook up, get warm. Let's move on. Look at this picturesque, absolutely stunning country. I was looking to go up into this beach here and camp the night, but it looks a bit small um, and looks very tidal. That looks very rocky, not ideal. So I think we'll have a quick swim along this coast, see if we can pick up a snapper. I'd be stoked to get a nice snapper. Haven't shot a good one for a while, so we'll go for a bit of a swim along there. And then it's about time to um, set up camp, so all working out, got our food, just need to find a uh, campsite. Well, not too much luck along with the snapper. A few came in after that kahoi, um, after I gutted it, but um, nothing really worth taking. Got enough fish for tonight, so. But I couldn't say no to a uh, nice kahoi. Really poor shot there, went through the stomach, um, but managed to land it. So yeah, we'll do a bit of a raw fish entree, and then uh, pretty close to these rocks. <laughs> Better get out of here. Um, yeah, and then we'll cook the rest up. So let's let's go. Let's go see what camp. Find some shelter. can pull up onto this beach maybe try to set the camp up there set the tent up for the night it'd be nice to have a little beach fire warm up and um, yeah I think that's us for tonight maybe stay on the boat tomorrow night we will see just keep cruising around it's cool man awesome place and clean in here. See all the reef in here. Wow. Beautiful spot. All right, this is us.
All right. Here's the high tide line now, so it's obviously going out. Get all this gear off, get set up, and I'll anchor the boat out here for the night. Now, got this stunning, stunning bay all to myself. Incredible. Nice flat little area up in there, away from the tide. Heaps of driftwood, can have a little fire. Awesome. Reasonably flat little platform for a tent should be away from the high tide fingers crossed and uh, yeah boats anchor up for the night hopefully it's in enough water as well having a bit of rain coming through so just got through that shower quickly get the tent up so we can get all our dry gear in here get cooking Sweet as, tent's looking good. Bit of light left. All right, all nice and warm. Dry gear's stowed in the tent. Got all our gear for dinner. Time to deal to these fish. We're gonna start off the kawaii, do a raw dish. Got some lemon, bit of wasabi, and then we're gonna fry up the butterfish. <sighs> Too good. Heaps of driftwood here, so we can have a nice fire after and get warm before bed. I didn't really look at the weather before I came. Well, not the rain radar. I only ever check wind and swell. I'm not worried about rain usually, but um, yeah, as I get more into this camping, <laughs> I really should check the forecast because it's looking pretty, pretty shitty, but uh, it's all good. Got a rain jacket and uh, that tent will hold up. So let's get into this dinner before it rains. All right, let's get these fillets off. Whoopsie, bit of a butcher job, but uh, it's all good. Plenty of fish. Man. Getting bloody eaten alive by sandflies. Hopefully I bought my mosquito repellent. <laughs> yeah, what's in my little dry box? Not looking good. My lucky bananas. Where did I put it? Bet you it's in the boat. <sighs> Not ideal. Oh well, we'll just have to survive. Can't be bothered taking the boots back off. Finish with some salt, a little bit of chilli powder, and a little bit of onion. There we go. Pretty simple. Always tasty. 
everyone's starting to click on that kahawai is one of the best best eating fish and most versatile fish in New Zealand um, everyone I talk to who's, who's tried it raw um, just raves about it that's really good eating so there we are entree kahawai some sort of sashimi raw fish dish didn't bring many ingredients on this trip I was just in a bit of a rush and actually forgot to stop in at the supermarket so it's going to be a bit of a mix and match a few meals over the next few days but um, can't go wrong with fresh seafood right here's my makeshift seat I found a bit of wood on the beach ah, that's me let's give this a go chili powder but um oh that's really good tasty ass lemons just slowly cooking into that fish mm. scale i'm a bit rough sometimes when i'm chopping up oh that's so good though right i'll touch both soon and we'll um cook up that butterfish Let's cook you up, mate. known as green bone as you can see why one more fillet too easy gonna crumb these fry them up keep it simple hmm I forgot the binder for the fish gonna mount some butter because you guys know I love butter. We'll use that, then we'll put the crumb on the butter and then we'll fry the fish in butter again. That should work. It's all good, I bought heaps of butter. Okay, that should do it. Nice and buttery. Salt. Yeah, good mix in. Should somewhat bind together. Crumbed butterfish is just the winner. Looks alright. Let's put that on there for now. More butter. Right. It's going in. This is not ideal, but uh It'll cook. Got a lid, maybe that'll help. Alright, I think we're done. Mm -mm -mm. 
gum. We're done, all right? Not bad, actually. Looking really good. Look at this view, man. It's just a stunning evening. Wicked spot. So, we'll finish off the lemon. And a bit of hot sauce. All right, fresh butterfish. Main course. Nothing flash, but always good. Very basic today, but you just can't beat fresh beard butterfish like that. It's just stunning. Let's eat it. Hopefully it's uh, as good as it looks. All right. Wow. Beautiful. Mmm. So simple. Butter, crumb, salt, lemon juice, and a bit of bit of uh, hot sauce. That is beautiful. Mmm. Don't need to do fancy recipes to taste good. That is too easy. Well guys, I'm gonna eat this. Not bore you with me chewing away on butterfish. Enjoy this absolute scene. Take this in for a half an hour or so. Just relax. In this beautiful spot. And we'll have a scrounge around and uh, get a fire pit ready and get that fire cooking. Maybe have a hot drink, have a coffee, settle in for the night. And tomorrow, back out there again. There's a reef out here where I've shot some very good kingies on before. So tomorrow might be um, a bit of a goal to get a kingfish. Um, in the morning we'll definitely hunt for some snapper. Always want a crayfish or a, or a pack horse lobster. So we'll see what we can find. All right, touch base soon. Life's good when it's simple. The simple life, eh? Camping on the beach, it's the good stuff. Get out there, guys, as much as you can. If you like camping in the outdoors, just make it happen. Life's too short. All right, we are ready. All right, flat white to end the day. Fire side, ocean side. Ah, wicked. Oh well, good start to the trip. Couple of fish on board. Nothing spectacular, but hey, it doesn't really matter. I'm just here to catch food, cook it up, camp in nature, chill out, explore. Same old, so awesome. Looks like that looks like that rain's buggered off and the weather's starting to settle. I think it might be getting better over the next few days, so um, that's always a bonus. Just gonna chill here the evening kick back rest up and then i'll see you in the morning see you nice and early and we'll see if we can find a nice snapper probably gonna have to head up or down the coast i just saw a commercial boat just pull in like five minutes ago and it's just set a massive long line in this whole bay so um yeah he might be picking up most of the snapper in the area tonight so we'll cruise on tomorrow and yeah i'm sure we'll find some exciting stuff underwater and continue the camping journey we'll camp on the boat tomorrow so stay tuned see you tomorrow
Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed that mission. Part two on its way, so stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button if you're keen to see more and get notified for the following episode. Thanks to all my supporters through Patreon, YouTube members, buy me a coffee. All helps, all goes a long way. Thanks to everyone that supported the channel by buying some merch. And if you want to check that out, primalpursuit.co.nz. See you guys soon. Cheers.